Okay, folks, let's just go ahead and walk from sort of the start with some assembly tutorials. Um, and I think the first thing we should do is just our sort of uh, hello world, just to get everyone uh, on the same page here. Okay, so I'm uh, going to split my window here um, so you can sort of see what's going on on both ends. But here's uh, hello. Um, and let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is sort of have a starting point for our program. Okay, so this is going to be the start symbol. Okay, so this is sort of the equivalent of a main uh, in our system. Okay, so in our main, it's a function. So I'm going to save the uh, stack pointer. Okay, so our source, wherever our, the top of our stack is, and that's now the uh, base pointer. Um, so this, you know, we might have arguments that we pass into our program, so we need to do this. Uh, and we'll remember to also um, pop this uh, base pointer. Okay, to move us back to where we started. Okay, so this is the sort of section of code that we're writing. So if we remember in our assembly programs, uh, that's the text section. This is the part that's not going to change, right? We can't write over it once we start executing. Um, and you know, our instructions stay the same. Okay, so what I want to do here, now that I've sort of set up the basics, is do a little hello world program. So in order to do that, let's use a system call to write out a message. Okay, so one here, rax, um, move q, one here, I'll explain what these are in a moment, and um, we need to write some message out. Okay, so let's figure out what that message is. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to create a uh, label here. So let's call it hello string, and then just some uh, ASCII message. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, and then an ending character. Okay, so nine total characters uh, for this string. Uh, now what I want to do then is load it in uh, to a register. This is going to be my hello string. And that goes into RSI. And then move in, how long did we say it was? Well, nine characters into RDX and do our syscall. Okay, so this is our uh, write hello world program. Okay. And then once we're done with our program, we want to exit. So we're going to do something very similar again and make sure that we can write out a system, uh, use a system call to quit. Okay, so 60, rex, and then move q, uh, the value 0, that's for our exit code, into rdi, and then make a syscall. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's see if I made any uh, errors that we'll need to uh, recompile here. Uh, and in order to compile, we're going to do GCC uh, hello, uh, and then we're just compiling out the object file. Um, so let's do that. And if we look, we get hello. Uh, I want to actually do this again, but this time with debugging symbols, because that'll be pretty helpful for us uh, in this in this series. Uh, so it can debug things. So again, I should see the same hello.o uh, was generated for us. Okay, so so far so good. Um, now that we've uh, got our object file, we actually need to link it though to build a program. So we'll use uh, ld, which again, uh, it's going to complain here, no input files. Uh, but this is our GNU linker. Okay, so we're using the GCC compiler, which is a GNU tool, so it's nice to use the linker as well. So let's load in that hello uh, object file, and we're just going to output it uh, as hello as well. Okay, and then we'll run. Okay, so this looks like it was a successful run. Um, we're able to output our program. Okay, so we'll continue breaking down hello world uh, in the next part.